really piggybacks on um, uh, Bria's item. Uh, the abatement demolition uh, has begun on the ECCL uh, site, the old San, San, San Pablo facil uh, facility. And um, members of the community, uh, you will see green fencing now on the 47th Street side of the old campus. And also on the front and on the side, on the 53rd Street side, you will also see posted notices. And those notices will change um, from time to time as the stages of abatement and demolition change. And what the, what the notices do is they describe the activities that Turner Construction is involved in. So, um, and there may be times when there'll be notices uh, perhaps about um, a particular change or perhaps a noise, noise level or something like that. But uh, that's part of the role of uh, Turner Construction right now is to uh, keep those notice notices current. And I'll make sure that uh, you have them here also and we'll make sure that we uh, let the public know what they are. So right now, they're involved in the um, staging of the, um, the green fencing, the posting of notices, and then going into the internal part of the building and actually tearing down the, uh, doing the, um, just the asbestos and abatement, tearing out the uh -huh. internal walls uh, of, the, of, the, of the facility. So can I ask a question? Are we sending out notice to the um, neighbors that are living around, in, around the area? Are we posting up signs, but are we also, I know we posting, but are we also mailing um, to those residents that are in the community. So there aren't, there aren't, um, 500 feet, something like that. Yeah, so there aren't uh, mailing notices for all the specific um, activities that are going on. Mm -hmm. um, that would, that would be uh, probably a significant expense, but, mm -hmm. but there are uh, website notices on the ECCL website and also uh, notices that are, that are posted. Um, from time to time, there may be a big, um, a big activity, and for that activity, there may be notices that will go out. So, for example, I would think that notices should have went out for demolition and, well, and, and a vacant to, to let the community, to let those neighbors know that this at least will be happening in a certain period of time. That, that would be unusual. I mean, we did quite a bit of noticing of the neighborhood, and we already sent out notices within a large right. radius of the property when? for the... Um, the recently approved, we did that for the um, uh, ba uh, for the um, for the sequa uh, sequa for the sequa process. So mm -hmm. we, we we notified them that it was going to be torn down during sequa. There was a public hearing process. Uh, we did get members of the of the neighborhood who had gotten notices, who expressed their concerns about. Um, we had one person expressing concerns about bird nesting and a whole variety okay, of issues. Okay. 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 Um, okay. So I, I think. And then in addition to those notices that have already gone out, so it's been well noticed over a period of time, uh, we, Roy, it's my understanding that, that as part of the DTSC process, um, you know, if there are any toxics being hauled off the site, that there may be additional noticing depending on That's the correct. degree of toxics that might be found when people dig into the earth. So, so we, can we so can we move this to the ECCL conversation? Okay. Can, yeah. we okay. can we can we hold it and just no, use this for fine. the report? No, no, so no, those no, are great that's questions. Fine. That's fine. So that's fine. yeah, okay, thank you.